planting ranches. Those don't come up very good. <laughs> well, I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, oh, no, I've been down so long. Good morning. What are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Setting basis on some wheat contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Markets oh. markets good today. Markets are positive today, but uh, I'm a little bit worried about the wheat uh, crop. Just get the, I feel like there could be some strong negative basis coming for harvest. So trying to take care of some of that uh, before time. I'm kind of like Rupert on the you better sell ahead of time this year. So. Yeah. Do you typically forward sell stuff? We do forward sell stuff here. Like we we typically try to go into the uh, crop with 40 or 50 percent sold and and then try to sell some during the uh, um, you know actual during the season when there's some market volatility and then we usually market the last of it after the first of the year after the crop is already inside the bin and uh, and the winter has come and gone and and start marketing into the spring and. That's kind of how we uh, logistically have to plan anyway, because we just can't move it all at once. We don't have enough labor or uh, trucks, so we just got to move it as we can. So it works out pretty good most years. Sweet. What's up? What you looking for? Uh, I was looking for some uh, pipe dope or pipe, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know the real name of it. Oh, how much we That's what I was looking for. In every vehicle we've had. I can't find what I'm looking for. I don't know, we got it. Auntie Omer's got her in a hiding spot somewhere. It runs. Your auger not spinning? Oh, it was that short in the battery. Oh boy. Andy. We'll see if it makes the season. Hopefully that fucks. Ready to go. Well, other than the fact it's cloudy and damp out. Well, that's. Yeah, it did. It, it was. It, is that metal in there? Yeah, we could do that. Where the water not standing on it. It let the chemical fall on food. The I, I know that there's, there's one extremely bad spot right there by the on the platform where you where I step off of it onto the sprayer top or onto the sprayer step. Yeah, Brandon's got the uh, seed trader ready. We'll ride down there and get some beans in the trader and film that. Be interesting. Oh, did you ever talk to John? John, hey. Parking. John Parking. Yeah, I did. I what don't know. What did he say about that slave? He said that, oh, yeah, he said he had that and that he was going to bring it whenever he brought the cable for the, oh, texting right now. Cable for the what? Don't for the say, Raven, uh, don't say liquid rig, because I don't want it to get you on the planter. <laughs> yeah, we're on the planter that now. That don't mean fucking wait until the fucking end of May the first April to bring it. I don't want it before I start. You going to that auction on Saturday in Mayfield? The farm auction? Yeah. I'm not. I bet that sucker goes to the moon. <laughs> they're going to have, they, they said they're going to have like six or seven auctioneers and like 60. Okay, sounds good. I think we're going to get, do you got the, the 443, whatever it is in there? As drive. Yeah, that's what we're going to, yeah, that's what we're going to start with. Okay, sounds good. One uh, one bag. Uh, you do. Okay, sounds good. We'll be down there for a while. Yeah, it's very stretchy. It's very stretchy. It's like normal size one, right? They said if they just, if we just go to nine, they'd be ready. You start planting. 
Anytime uh, you want. Three, well, three, three years ago, I, I started planting soybeans up here on the Big Boar Farm on March the 17th. Well, Maybe that early this time, if, uh, if it stays warm. Well, I guess we'll have the beef caker since we don't have a fork left. <laughs> so it's a what? It's a small or three, three hook. Three hook. Uh, three inch female to female, but it's long. Yeah. I was building that house. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on! I got all this fucking head. <laughs> Too bad uh, the forklifts out here all winter and worked, and now when we need them, they both like it. Just use the skid loader. You want? It is a little bit silly. It is. <laughs> That's what I. Yeah, it's over in the shed, isn't it? Yeah. Um, What's the point of owning and having a heavy equipment if you can't make it lift heavy things for you? Well, it all breaks. Hmm. Nobody knows nothing about them. Pull this out. Where's Homer? Nah, well, we need to set. Good. Oh. Just don't screw up the pallet, it should slide right over there. Do we have any ammonia left, Zach? No. We need Not to take that I'm aware of. We need to get some more ammonia and soak those valves in ammonia. <coughs> Well, I'll see here. Yep. There's uh, two more of those meters in the building in there. In the, office, uh -huh. in the cabinet. The meters. Yeah, probably not on the. Probably, probably ought to soak those meters. Open the valves up on the meters and I'm soaking ammonia overnight, probably. Yeah. 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 They're in the office in there. What's that? Yeah, there's one new one here, then there's two in the office in there in the shelf cabinet. Hey, they have some barrels in there. Yeah, that's a planter of the six barrels in that I called my second. About what I put in you. He's got it. I told him to get four more. Those are in the store there. Whether he did or not. Out of my hands. Okay. <laughs> what was this pull up? This pull up is for that. Did you give me that? Yeah. Did you give me that? Hey, that's Kenny. Big Kenny. Or big little Kenny. Big Kenny. That's big little Kenny. <laughs> Oh, hell. Good question. <laughs> hey. Not it. 
Well, there's a bolt in there. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll do that. I'll meet back there. We'll get her going. Mm -hmm. Give me a piece of tape. Yeah. Yeah. My fingers don't bend that way. Get it? Yes, sir. I think you're gonna need it. We'll find some tape. Have uh, have Mr. Longfingers over here do it. That's even longer though. Look at that. Put a piece of tape on the bottom of the box end of your wrench. That's what I was gonna do. I was gonna go get something. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. That'll work. Hey guys, I'm in Cedar Rapids today. Uh, I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Uh, I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Anyways, chilling in Cedar Rapids. And uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Atlas Media Solutions. Um, if you didn't know, the reason I'm carrying a backpack is because it's full of camera gear. Because I run a media company that takes me and our team all over the country um, producing cool videos for mostly ag businesses and a couple other fun things along the way. But our mission is to serve ag and so yeah, if you are an ag business or work in the ag industry and are in need of media, check out the website below. Um, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll let you know where I am next week. See ya. He stole your jack. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for getting the note for him. Want this airline over here? Yeah, don't mind. Crippled. Thirty minutes more, anyway. What you doing now? Well, get this off. You just bent down in. Yeah, I know. In my bed. <laughs> Next on your agenda. Tire rotation. We should have maybe made do a still three thirty. Yeah, we're creating gap. Yeah. Have no what? Yeah, that. See, I think it was supposed to be like that on the other. I think it was supposed to be like that on the other side. Look. Loose? If, it, if it's loose, your whole hook will be loose. It should, it should snow. That side over there, though. The I went. Danger, the danger on your bearing out? Yeah, I did that one. But you ain't supposed to be taking that off by your hand, though. I thought the Carter key was supposed to hold it. I thought you wouldn't. Yeah, but you to... need it snug first. That's what holds your, your caliper on there. Yeah, they're supposed to typically be at like 120, 160 uh, foot pounds. That's about four. We don't. <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't <laughs> no one, no one who farms torques wrenches everything. He says hey, we three start impact three. hits and it's going to I didn't do this side. <laughs> That's a pothole damage problem. Probably the way I drove it last fall coming back from the field. <laughs> no, you said it's more when we went to the picture for my time, meet Neil at the time at night. <laughs> you cross yeah, it, yeah, you ever cross this motherfucker, he said. Oh, that little. <laughs> yeah. on, a, on a malicious place? Yeah. 
He backed up. Well, it had, it had it ruts deeper than the Danger Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> we should get across top of it. <laughs> if you drive fast oh, enough across yeah. anything, you'll make it yeah. over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It'll just bounce you. Okay. Okay. I'll see you. Yeah. Y'all on, Pepper. Yeah. Y'all on. How's it looking? Dirty. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it since I already got them though. And what? You probably paint spray right there in the back of the ranger. Where we dropped out of the ranger last winter, remember? The Jeep been right around and hit some of the bow spots in the fields today. Yeah. It's dry enough. Yeah. Especially over there in the walk on the walkwood barn. We're fucking sure. That'd give us something to pivot around the news after that. Can you? Uh, yeah. Mike, you can walk it. Let's walk out here and we'll look. The bowls got, you know, they like, I guess they were cutting some of the uh, wheat down. So some of the seed got scattered out on the ground. See the little house. I got you. Yeah, so we have vole here, which is similar to a mouse without a tail, and they make little colonies, and they're they are really prolific breeders. And what they do is they clip the roots on your soybean or corn plant, and then you lose a, you know, pretty well. You can see how big this twenty by twenty area is. I've seen it like where just a county south of here where they've taken an entire field before, so they can be a huge problem, especially in no-till where you're never flipping the ground over. That's why you have these guys. Yeah. The Vol Patrol right here. <coughs> Dig them up. Get them, Pepper. We're loading that. He'll be all over it. Oh, he's, a, he's in the truck. He, yeah, he'd already be down in there nose deep. That's wild. Yeah, you can see there's one and there's one. I know on that ridge on Watwood, it's just full of them. Is it? Mm -hmm. Where's that stuff at? It's in the shed, yeah. It won't take much like uh, four pounds traits an acre, so a cup full would do a colony like this. Just find their little holes and dump, dump it. In the hose. Yeah, dump it in the hose. Got your own grease gun? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's Zach's. We're headed down to Bandana Ag and uh, going to treat our first bag of beans for the season so we can test the planter out maybe this weekend. So we'll see. The first beans are about to go in the ground pretty soon. No. Just driving down it? Yeah, he's driving down the turn. Road from about that turn. 
Really? Small town drama. Maybe some uh, metal thievery going on. <laughs> Eight or ten days, like, try to get us all together uh, on a meeting so yeah. we could just kind of yeah. get on the same page. Meridian or Freeson. I th they were the, both the same companies at one time. Stay up. Sound like every one of us in a damn shop right here. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to go in here and get some seed treated. Uh, they're just finishing getting the treater set up, so we'll be the first load of the year. What's up? Get her going? Golly, yeah, finally. Super fan. It's a nice treater. Hey, can you see on Chip's desk how much uh, there's uh, How many boxes can it do in an hour? Or in a minute? It'll do a bunch in an hour. Well, we got a set of 1,400 pounds a minute right now. Okay, yeah. You like I think the max is like 16 a minute. So you can set up different stores. But I can only throw I can only hold 14,000 there, so once you do 14 and then fill it back up 14, that's what actually turns it off. This white dog. That's my dog. His dog. What you got in there? Looks good. 4.3 as grows. That little Hobbit's candy too. Yeah, it is sweet. Do you know how Amber and Chad sell their business? No, we just, uh, they, they got, Michael got known for one. I bet it's because it's in this holder. Okay, so they're, uh, first they put the seed into the, the lower hopper. It'll come up into here as a holding tank. It'll drop into the mixing barrel, and uh, the atomizer will spray it with the fungicide and insecticide, and then it'll come down the conveyor and into our cart, and then it'll be ready for the planter. Well, we just got the seed treated. Um, got some 4.3 Avis grows in there, got some uh, sudden death syndrome chemical and a fungicide and insecticide and that'll just protect our beans uh, when they're getting started in this really early time period from uh, seed borne illness and also insects and any kind of disease that would uh, affect the plant for the first few days of its life. It'll, uh, that treatment will remain viable throughout a large portion of the plant's early life and then at some point it'll just play out and then, uh, but by that time the plant has natural defenses and sunlight to protect it. So we're basically just giving the plant the best chance it can at uh, coming up happy and healthy. That's what we're trying to do with that treatment. Oh, that's Planting ranches. Those don't come up very good. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
or set my depth. Best guesstimate. As we move deeper this way into the slots, the you go deeper in depth. Is your plan for the rest of the day? It was running. Yes, it started running before I showed up today. One, I, I, my initial thought was to catch the first few minutes to come out of here into my cooler. Catch there was some shit in the bottom of this right here. Yeah. But no more than what I'm putting in there. Worse because the worst thing just dump a couple hundred pounds out of the shop floor. <laughs> That's what yeah, I told Barney I was gonna do. That's what I told Barney I would do anyway. To get if I had anything clogged up, that the easiest way you don't don't fight it, don't mess with it, you get you a tarp or get your concrete floor and you dump it out and drive over top of it. Start over. I'll get Daniel and be back. Yeah. See you tomorrow. down. You just cleaning this thing out? Huh? Were you just cleaning this thing out? Well, no, I fixed it. I probably fixed the plant for me because we're only pond living. <laughs> That's my favorite spot to attempt a planter after I've ever found a pond. Yeah. I'm in my truck. I gotta go up here and see if I can get my... Go up here and see if I can get my seed tender. I just started building up here in this planter bowl. Or at least get the planter. I gotta get built to get my planter and my seat tender and clean this the building tonight so it's gonna get wet now. I got beans in it. Alright, yeah, I don't like that design. That's a shitty design. What? Oh, that cow powder. The tops on those bucket on those uh, four gallon buckets right there, they don't snap uh -huh. into place. Oh, this come on, boy. Run, go. What you switching? I I don't have a my uh, Gen Four box on my on the tree up here. I don't have any power to it. 
I can't remember if it's a convenient or if it's a You know, eventually you keep putting fuses in places where there are no fuses, eventually something's going to work. <laughs> I suppose. I get some more. I wonder where I get that out of. Go make me start smacking the hell out of it already. John, don't make John come put it in with bar front like it's supposed to be here last year. So I'm going to make you put my slate monster and everything because we have to wire it into the tree and all that shit. Yeah, you could probably just almost forget about Neil being back. the next time Clayton comes we'll be planting so thanks for watching our YouTube this week like share and subscribe